Hey everyone, my name is Justin from JustThisGood.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a pixelated melting face sensor effect. So this is a cool take on your typical uh, face sensor or pixelation or face blurring. Uh, it's kind of just a cool abstract effect that you could use for any type of design or poster. Um, but let's get started. I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing you want to do actually is rotate your canvas. So with your photo open in Photoshop, you want to head over to image, image rotation, and choose 90 degrees counterclockwise. So this will let us kind of use the filter that we're about to use and melt the face downward like we want to. But before we do that, we actually want to duplicate our original layer. So I'm just going to use the shortcut Command J, but you could right click and duplicate it as well. So on this duplicated layer is where we're going to add the effect. So head over to Filter, Stylize, and select Wind. So we want to use the direction from the left because that will go from the left to the right and it will melt their face downward kind of. And the method you want to use, um, you can use wind, blast, or stagger, but I like using stagger. So go ahead and select OK. And then actually, if you just hit Command F on your keyboard, it will just repeat that filter. You could also do filter, and then the last filter you used is always on top here. So that's a useful tip. But I'm just going to use Command F and repeat that filter a couple times. And then maybe to finish it off, you can go to filter, stylize, wind one more time but this time instead of using stagger you can use wind to, or, or blast um, either one you want so I'll use wind to give it a little bit of extra detail and maybe repeat that a couple times so I'm happy with that there but now we want to flip our canvas back over so we can work on having this effect only be on our face so go ahead and go to image image rotation and we'll use 90 degrees clockwise this time so we're back to where we started but now we just want to mask out the rest of this pixelation and leave it only on her face so go ahead and create a new layer mask so I'll go to layer layer mask hide all so we're hiding everything on our layer so what that did is it gives us the ability to paint in the parts of this layer that we want to show through and we're going to do that by clicking on the actual layer mask here and using white and using our paintbrush to paint in that pixelation. So I'm actually just going to use a default soft round brush here and just use a size that works well for the area that you're painting in. So something workable. I'll use like 40 pixels here for her face. And then I'm just going to click and paint in. But the cool part of the effect is you want to leave, you just want to do the outline of the face, but leave the hair intact. So I fill in everything but the clothes and the hair, it'll give it a cool look. But if you notice, it's actually getting some of that uh, wall color, so it's kind of covering it up and it's not as smooth as we want. So the way to fix that is to actually unlink your layer mask by clicking this little chain here. So now we can move the layer around and the layer mask will stay in the same spot. So we'll click on the actual layer now that they're unlinked, grab our move tool and just click and drag it up a little bit until you don't see any more of that paint. So now you can see her face is totally covered by this kind of melting pixelized icicle effect. But at this point you could just edit the layer mask if you needed. So paint in white on areas that you want more of this effect or paint in black on areas where you think you took it too far. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully you guys learned a couple new tips in this tutorial or at least got some inspiration for an effect or design. I'm sure you could use this for some type of cool promotional design um, or any type of unique design that you wanted. If you did enjoy this tutorial, make sure you check out my website, justthisgood.com, and subscribe to me here on YouTube to be notified every time I upload a video. Also, if you want to find me on any social media, my username is justthisgood. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. I respond to everyone. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.